the science does indicate a universe that is in motion. None of the bits of it, not a single bit of it, has some will that is trying to accomplish something. No, it's physics. And then the physics turns into chemistry. And then the chemistry can be converted into biology, a replicating cell. And every indication is, is that we came from one replicating cell, that it wasn't happening on planet Earth, that it doesn't happen everywhere, it doesn't happen on asteroids and meteors and the other planets in the solar system, quite obviously. And there's no echo in the universe of the other people saying, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, because they're not there. It is a game of dice. There is no justice here on Earth or anywhere else in the universe. There is no intelligent design. It's an unintelligent design created by a, an engine that doesn't know the difference between good idea and bad idea, that just knows survival. Cause and effect is determinism. That's right. That's cause and effect, contingent on a circumstance. When the first cell created on planet Earth, when the first replicating molecule did that, when the meteor came down and wiped out the dinosaurs so the mammals could emerge on planet Earth, there was nothing built into that to make that happen. It was a circumstance, and it could be a circumstance that is as perfect storm as perfect storm can be. What if this chemistry, this replicating cell thing, was common? Would that somehow validate it if it came from the same universe? What if it was a common event? What if it happened all the time? Every time you put a little ball of something in space, the little crawlies would evolve on it. Maybe take a few million years, but every single time the little microbe would grow a brain, become a schemer, become a feeler, become a taker. How would that validate what we are at all? Even if it was a part of the function of the universe, how would that make it mean anything? We know what its purpose is. Its purpose is gladiator wars. I mean, fuck that.